but we're back in the shop. We got Aiden again. How's it going? Um, and instead of working on the, well, we're gonna work on the E30, but we're gonna work on the E30's new engine, um, new to me engine. It's from 1995. But that's besides the point. The new head gasket came in, so we need to take the head off to get to it. Um, so let's uh, scooch this bad boy into the open so we have a little bit more space to work on it. We're gonna get all the uh, coil packs out. That's kind of the first step. So, yeah. Good. All right, we got our plugs. This one's not covered in oil. The other one was. So, this one is covered in oil. That's good. Not really, but it's fine. Put those there for now. And that should be all. So, get all these bad boys out. Sweet. There's only a little bit of oil on them, but we definitely need a new bath cover gasket. good practice to just put all your bolts from those in the same place. Um, don't lose them. You don't want to lose anything really. It would kind of suck. So I like to put them in a little bag that has the name written on them. Ugh. Good. We'll just let it hang here for now. Okay. Hopefully we don't break anything. So yeah, I'm just getting a little creative with the attachments, man. So you got the uh, big one to the medium one, to the long guy, to the small one. To the one. Ah! <laughs> All right. stuff on the back just, just holding it up like this <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah potentially of course there's always something oh yeah and this one sweet Just keep looking for stuff. It is good practice to shove uh, some rags into the intake, um, just so you don't drop something into the engine. We are taking the head off, so it doesn't matter too much, but it's still good practice. Okay, just grab some rag and throw it in there. You don't want to drop anything in there. That would suck. Yeah, this can now come off, and you can break things. <laughs> oh, there we go, 22 pins. Perfect. And then I got this brand new torque wrench just for this job. But we're not torquing anything down right now. I'm just gonna twist the engine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not exactly what I wanted. You hear that noise? That's compression from the cylinders. Pretty cool. You want to twist it to top dead center? <laughs> oh yeah, it's trying to push through the f holes. I didn't think about that. That's why I'm fighting so much force. This beautiful invention. That's on Amazon for like $100. This is a timing uh, thing for a Vanos engine. All right, so we just had to spin it again because for every rotation, that's the, uh, thanks McGuire for the info, by the way, but every rotation of this, the engine, the camshaft only rotates uh, one turn, or half a turn, should I say. So now we have the dots over here that are showing you the steam. 
Tarka. The camera died last night when me and Aiden were working on the car, or working on the engine, should I say. Uh, but, as you can see, the head is now off the engine. So it was success, uh, a great success. And we have the timing chain just hanging out with some wrenches so it doesn't fall in. That would be bad. I dropped the head off earlier today at Island Racing uh, in South Hero to get um, resurfaced. So they're doing that. And for now, I'm going to get all the remaining gunk kind of off this. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the goal of today. Sam is working on something. What are you working on, Sam? I'm putting my banjo bolts on my rotors. Oh, nice. Uh, Got a good banjo bolt. Yeah, these are all very nice components that I don't feel worthy touching. My hands are like too dirty to touch them. Now I'm gonna clean this, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. I doubt it's gonna go well. We got a brass brush. Oh, focus. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> So that's all done now. <clears throat> I have cleaned that off with brake clean and it feels super smooth now, just as you want it to feel. So it is important to remember that when the head comes back, you wanna lightly oil the cylinder walls just before you put everything in there. What's up guys? We're back here in the shop um, and we've got the head of the M50 back all nicely decked. Very nice, sweet. This thing is nice and clean, uh, or it's clean enough for what we're trying to do. Um, but sadly, I'm going to have to take the cams out to get the ARP head studs in, uh, because the ARP head studs are apparently really tough to get in if the cams are still on the head. The block is now sitting on top of these two guys, and that's a good spot for it. Um, you just don't want the, you want space underneath so the valves don't come in contact with anything. First step, we'll be rotating the camshafts uh, so that the valves on cylinder one are being compressed and uh, everything else should kind of not be. So let me rotate this. And again, you're gonna, these are no longer gonna be top dead center anymore. So rotate clockwise. Uh, cylinder one valves here should be uh, all the way at the bottom compressing and then these ones should be all the way at the top so that's kind of how you know uh, that you've done it right when these sit up. So the machine shop actually did all the oiling on this so I feel bad taking it off. They already did all the hard work but you know what I have to do it again so kind of sucks but it's not the end of the world. And now, you're on the last one. You just want to do one half turn at a time. Just so you don't break anything. So, half turn. Half turn. Pull the last one. You should have your camshaft. Should be able to come out. So that's one side out. And now you can see that we have really easy access to all the head bolt areas right there. Down here. This guy. This guy. All those. That's going to be super, super, super helpful and good. Very good stuff. All right, now repeat the same step on the other side. I'm not going to show that. Uh, that would be pretty repetitive and take up a lot of footage on the card. So I'll see you in a sec. The camshafts are out over here. Which is sweet. <clears throat> so now I just have to wait for sand to come to help me put it on that block. We need to get our brand new head gasket fitted 
on top. This is from CES Motorsport. So it's the copper spacer with the MLS head gasket, or not the MLS head gasket, I mean the cut ring head gasket, my bad. All right, so the first thing to go on is gonna be this gasket right here. It's sitting flat like this, so I'm assuming that's the way it goes in. All right, let's get the timing chain through. Cool. Let's rest the timing chain back down again. Make sure it sits over the hole. There we go. That sits properly. Oh, that is a thing of beauty right there. Okay, you just want to be careful with this. So I'm just going to place it in my hand. Get the timing chain through. Press the timing chain back down again. And this should go on. Seat nicely. You're all set to start getting the cut ring part actually on. So one at a time, if they're gonna go on, you're gonna wanna make sure the grooved is going upward. Oh yeah, I do one at a time fit in there. Oh, that's so cool. Pretty inventive, honestly. I like it. Oh, yeah. And there you go. So that head gasket is now on. Get the walkie through it here. You can see each cylinder has one of the rings. You can see the copper spacer beneath. And that spacer is gonna do wonders for everything, man. So as you bolt the uh, head on, the copper spacer should kind of smush in. It's a very pliable metal. It should smush and really make sure that there's a good seal, um, even if not everything's perfect. The uh, head is now actually on the engine. Sam stopped by to help me. And I got the head studs, not all the way in, but they're, they're in there, ready to go in. So I'm just gonna put them all in, then we'll get the camshafts in. And um, that'll be all for tonight, because I'm getting tired. All right, so the ARP head studs are in, the cams are back in, these bolts are torqued down to a, uh, 11 foot pounds or 112 foot uh, pound uh, inch whatever's but yeah can are back in blocks are back on just uh, keep the timing we have dots here dots here so the timing is back to uh, top dead center on the cams and now all there is to do is get the engine back to top dead center so uh, I've been here for a while I'm gonna get that done um, and I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much. I have to organize my stuff. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good one.